and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. So the Houston Astros have already won the series, and now they go for the four-game sweep, Chris. It's been a lopsided series so far. Yeah, they've clearly been the better team, and I expect them to come out today looking to tie a bow on this series. And on the other side, most teams run into at least a three-game sweep at some point, but not every team looks back at a four-game sweep at the end of the year. And I'll say this. As a player, it's especially frustrating when the losses keep coming against the same team. So if they can salvage a win today, this series won't go down quite as sour. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about to get underway, getting the nod on the mound. Dane Dunning, what should we keep an eye on here? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Righty to the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. Yeah, the right hater deals. Bows it off, still one and two. And the pitch stays alive. That one missed. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next one misses, and now it's three and two. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Michael Brantley stands in here, takes ball one low. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. Next nope. pitch downstairs, and it's two and one. And he deals. Ground ball left side could be two. There's one. Adelo. It's a double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Smith. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now, Marcus Simeon. The wind of the pitch. Swing it a foul straight back. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball lifted left field. One away. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Three hits and 12 trips so far in the series. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Way inside, gets out of the way. Next pitch misses. The count now two and two. It's a good take. This one in the air right field. Tucker on the move. Hauls it in for the out. And here's Corey Seager to hit. One run batted in yesterday, their only run of the game. 
Ball one, no strikes. That smash towards center. McCormick makes the play, and it's out number three. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And here now is the Astros' cleanup hitter, Chaz McCormick. Pitches in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Jose Abreu up to hit. First offering. Runner goes. And that one fouled off. Nobody out. Runner at first. 0 and 2 as he waves at that one. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Throws to second for one. Relay to first. Double play. Great job on the mound. Fielding his position and making a good throw to second to get the double play started. Far too often we see pitchers have a hard time with that throw, but no issues right there. That's good practice paying off in a game and resulting in two big outs. The line to kick the pitch. One ball, two strikes. That misses the zone. Ball two. Second inning here. No score. Got him swinging. Back here at the ballpark. Here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Bounce to the right. Abreu. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That's one out the bottom of the second. Jonah Heim digs in now. Swing and a miss. 98 on the gun. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. And that one is lifted in the air. Alvarez hauls it in, and there's two away. Next is the designated hitter, Ezekiel Duran. Hitless in the series so far. Well struck right field. That's back there. Caught just shy of the wall. Rangers go down. Top half of the third inning. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. And first offering is fouled off. Pena, a former gold glove winner, 25 years old. And he was a third round pick back in 2018. Struck him out looking. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. Maldonado will handle the catching duties in this one. in hey. ninth in today's lineup, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Out to short. Seeger. Gathers and throws to first. And the Astros. Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. And a base hit up the middle. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Left field. And out number one on the grab. So next to hit for Texas, Josh Smith. That one out to right. Tucker should have it. And it's caught for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. 
Now it's Marcus Simeon. In the dirt, blocked. Nice job behind the plate there. And fouled off. Now fly ball to right center. McCormick trying to get there. Tracks it down for the out. And that is that. Dunning back to work. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Michael Brantley stands in. And there's the strike. Oh, well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Runner at first with no outs here. Simeon to second for one. Adelo. It's a double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. The pitch. Boots it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Bottom of the fourth, Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. And a pitch. This one popped up. Dubon puts it away, and there's one away. Now it's Corey Seeger. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. And this one could be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first. Digging for two. Alvarez whips it in quickly. They hold the runner at second. So another base hit could get us our first run in this one. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter. Adolis Garcia. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Good eye right there. Hard hit left side. Over to Abreu. And Garcia is out. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. 0 for 1 so far. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. Alvarez makes the play. And that ends the And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Chaz McCormick. Well, these Astros, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. He's got it, and there's two away. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. Nope. But he stayed right. focused and made a nice catch right there. Two down, nobody on. Clicks the corner, and the count one and one. The nope, next offering misses. Two and one. Two one. Good eye in that spot. That's to third. Fires across the diamond, and they get Bregman for the... Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Ezekiel Duran. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man on base to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases.
And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Runner on the goal. Transfer bobbled and there's no throw. The pitch. And a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Play at the plate and they cut him down. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. I think the base runner thought he had a better jump on that than the third base coach clearly as he tried to score from second. Third base coach was trying to hold him up, had both arms up, but he ran through the stop sign, and that's a costly base running mistake. Evan Carter will hit next. Glide out his first time. Out to short, Pena. On the run, sends it over to first. Two away. Now. Oh, here is pitch hitter coming on. Travis Jankowski. Big spot for him here. Number 16. And first offering is fouled off. Young stands at second with two gone. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. A little anxious, a little aggressive early in the count. Too much for me. Out there to center. That's a base hit. Now a long throw home. And they'll score first. It's one zip. And that's a two-out double. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep. And I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not. But off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out. And it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Here is Marcus Simeon. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And he swings and misses oh, at the initial offering. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against it. Whips it across. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. So remaining in the game defensively, Travis Jankowski. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Pena in the box now. Takes strike one. Swing and a miss. Next offering is downstairs. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one out now. <laughs> Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next. Now a diving stop at third. And very nicely done for the out. Cat-like reflexes on that one. Makes the dive, has to get up. Clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond. And what a tremendous play. Martin Maldonado up to him. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. To first, and that is that. Nothing doing for the Welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Whoa. Just missed. Lowe measures six feet, four inches, 27 years old. And he took home the silver slugger last year in the American League. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Bounce to the right side. Gets it to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Seeger stands in now. One for two. That misses the zone, and it's one and oh. He was late there. Strike one. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Up the middle. 
Throws to first. Two up, two down. Now it's going to be Adolis Garcia. First pitch swinging. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Next pitch misses way outside. Gets a piece and stays alive. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. And welcome back. Here's Kyle Tucker. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Bounce to the left side. Over to low. One up, one down. Here's Michael Brantley. In the air, left field, down the line. Jankowski makes the play, and that quickly, two away. Here's Jordan Alvarez. In there, and it's 0-1. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Not in time. He's safe. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that play. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. Here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh. And here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. And strike one to the catcher. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Parker Mashinsky preparing to come on if needed. Presley, the right-hander, also getting loose. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. In the dirt. On to first, in time to get him, one away in the strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. One down, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And he makes the catch. And there are two down. Here's Josh Young. Out to center, Dubon sizing this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And we go to the eighth. Now the batter now, Alex Bregman. Swings and misses. Going oh, one. Dunning into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. A couple of pitches and a quick out. First offering misses the mark. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. Smoked on the ground a second. In plenty of time to first. And they get Altuve for the out. Duvall in the box again. Takes the strike. On the ground, right side. On to first. That's out number three. Astros are staying in the game on defense. Jose Altuve taking over as a new shortstop now following his pitch hit appearance. A new pitcher in the game, Parker Mashinsky. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters are going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Over to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Mitch Garver. Looking to start something with one gone. 
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. In the dirt, one and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Kendall Graveman, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. And a one one. This to third. Sends it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Simeon. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And he hit him. I got him. You know, Boone, there always seems to be that oh no moment for the pitcher when he's lost control of his pitch, and most of the time it's right when he lets it go. He knows that it's not headed where he intended it to go. Low in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Simeon off of first with two away. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Your now into the game, Robbie Grossman. He'll be out in left field. That one down the line. Young tosses the first. Now one gone in the ninth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in a ball game like this. Positioned perfectly. And first offering is fouled off. He goes down looking. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And a base hit into right center field. And that's going to roll to the wall. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. Laser could be extra bases. Heading for the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's 1-1. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. <laughs> Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So a change being made out of second. And now number one. Here's the pinch runner. So out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Brock Burke. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. On the ground, right side, and here it comes. A big swing and a miss. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. So a ninth. Now into the ball game on defense, Trent Grisham. He'll be out in left field. So now it's Corey Seager. Mashinsky back to work. Towards first. And he handles it himself for the out. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. On the ground, right side. A flip to the pitcher covering, and a couple of quick outs. And now the catcher comes up to him, Jonah Heim. Swing, and a ball popped up, and it falls. So a two-out knock, and that puts the winning run on first. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. One for three. First offering misses badly for ball one. Bounced up the middle. To second, Altuve. That's the third out.
to extra innings. And now the first baseman, Jose Abreu. John Gray gets the call from the pen. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. On the ground to first, and that one finds its way through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so great job there, stepping up to the challenge. Good pitch, slider down and away. Young to second, Adelo. It's a double play. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. That's in there. That's strike one. All tied up here in extra innings. Comes up empty on the swing. All at two now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole. Oh, and now a wild pitch. And now a man into scoring position. The 1-0. There's a strike. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. And now two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a pop up. Heim should have this one. Makes the catch in and over. So coming into the game now on defense, Gaynor Diaz. He takes over as the new first baseman. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. He's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Dubon to first. And here in the tenth, the leadoff man is out. Fought off foul. So a big opportunity here with the score tied and that runner on second to start the bottom of the inning. Yeah, and you know they're eager to cash in. You just don't want to come out of your shoes and make a mistake. Got to play this smart. Left-hand hitter waits. Ground ball to the right side. He steps on the bag, and that quickly two away. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Entered the game on defense, so this is his first trip to the plate in this one. And that one almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Pitch misses there. Two balls, no strikes to count. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And he hits a ground ball right side. Dubon. Jump throw. Rangers go down in order. Eleventh inning set to get underway. Here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Andrew Heaney. He last pitched two days ago. And the 0-1. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. And it's through for a hit. A leadoff single and the go-ahead run is aboard. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Tucker in the box now. Take strike one. Run around the goal. Tapped softly on the ground. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front. Rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And first offering is fouled off. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. On the ground. On the run. Throw to first. Just got him on that one. Hey. 
And that's in there for strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. And that one is lifted in the air. Carter gliding as he moves to his left. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Welcome back. And now it's going to be Marcus Simeon. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. In hard. That gets through. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Stepping in, Nathaniel Lowe. Grisham makes the catch, and there's one gone. Next up for Texas, Corey Seager. Swing and a miss. Oh, one, one, one. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. And safe. It's a stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And two away now. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Swings through that oh, one. 0-1. Oh and one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. And that gets down for a base hit. Oh, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you right. let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game. The pitch. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Across is the winning run, and the Rangers walk it off in the 11th. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And your final score here today, 2-1. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.